Hi, my name is None of Your Business, and I go by the name of Anonymous, and I secretly recorded the conversation between Donald Trump and Guy Fieri. It was one of the most disgusting, vile conversations I've ever listened to in my entire life, and I'm going to exclusively share it tonight. Please say a prayer for me and my family as we are very, very scared for our safety. It's not a joke. We're scared of all the Joe Rogan supporters, Flavortown supporters, MAGA supporters alike. I don't know what the... uh, It's going to be an insurrection up in my house, and I'm very nervous. Here's how the conversation went. Please tell your friends and family share this with all your friends and family this is very serious stuff everyone share this the conversation went a little bit like something like this guy fed was like welcome to flavor town mr president which i heard then i was like okay this is a white supremacist moment and i'm gonna be recording this this is scary and then he was like i'm stoked to have you here uh we're gonna take your taste buds on a wild ride like a kkk ride i didn't know what he meant by that and then donald trump was like thanks guy i've heard a lot about this flavor town of yours i'm ready to try some tremendous flavor believe me which when i heard that i was like oh my god january 6th in my mouth right now it's happening i cannot believe what i'm about to hear and then guy fairy was like fantastic i've got some epic dishes lined up let's start with the flaming freedom flies like but why are they flaming that's my first thought and then they're like they're crispy on the outside perfectly seasoned and dipped in my special die sauce which i was like what is that it's a jalapeno ranch sauce which i could totally be a for but it's uh based on a white supremacist motive that only white men should be in charge of companies so i immediately heard that and i i was totally triggered by that and then don trump was like freedom fries huh i like the sound of that anything with freedom gets my attention let's dig in which i thought was like totally genuine and the fact that the guy didn't even know what a blizzard was it was just so like what the and then guy fairy was like here you go mr president here's a uh, get loaded with fries <laughs> that when i heard that i knew i was going to have a horrible night and donald trump was like well guy these fries are tremendous crispy flavorful and the ranch adds the perfect cake this is tremendous you're a real winner in the kitchen which was like wow that is so sexist and then guy fieri said Thanks, Mr. President. I'm thrilled you're enjoying them. Now let's move on to the main course. It's a true Flavor Town classic, bourbon glaze beef brisket. Don Trump was like, that looks incredible, guy. I've heard a lot about steaks in my life, but brisket is something else. It's itch. And then Guy Fieri was like, you know it, Mr. President. You know it, Mr. Like, what is he talking about? What is he insinuating? The brisket is cooked slow and low and tender as can be and bathed in bourbon glaze. And you'll know you'll get your socks rocked off in the Flavortown favorite. And Donald Trump was like, guy, this brisket is tremendous. The meat is so tender and that bourbon glaze adds a touch of sweetness. It's a real winner, just like me. And then Guy Fieri was like, absolutely, Mr. President. You totally won that election. Which I was like, what did you say? <laughs> absolutely, Mr. President. You got a great plate. But we can forget about the dessert. I've got a dish that will make your taste buds do a victory dance on presidential pecan pie. Don Trump was like, Pecan pie, one of my favorites. You gotta tell me, guy, what makes this pie so presidential? And then Guy Fernie was like, well, Mr. President, the pie is loaded with pecans all across America, representing the strength and diversity of our great nation. And then, and the ice cream is like a scoop of American dream on top. Mm. Donald Trump was like, that's a great way to put it, guy. Let's see if it lives up to the name. And then Donald Trump takes a huge bite and he starts smiling, which I thought, whoa, I'm never going to watch Flavortown or Diners, Drives, and Dives ever again now. Donald Trump, guy, you hit this out of your park. The pie is tremendous, just like everything in Flavortown. You truly made doing great again. And I mean dining great again. Guy Fieri said, thank you, Mr. President. It's an honor to have you here. And remember, like, Flavor Town is always open to you. Keep rocking those flavors. <laughs> and then the scene, like, kind of ends, and Donald Trump is like, walks away, and then he goes over to, like, handshake Joe Rogan, and then Joe Rogan is like, how's it going, Mr. President? Donald Trump is like, good. And then I was... I just left. I left the UFC event because I was so triggered by that. It's not a joke. And um, 
I'm just sick of all these right-wing maggots in my comments. Get out of my comments. You guys are part of the problem. So here's to boycotting diners, drives, and dives, and especially to every restaurant that ever hosted them. If they don't come out and put um, an Instagram post about how they condemn Guy Fieri's actions by handshaking, then I'm not going to eat there ever again. Thanks for sharing this. Have a good night. Bye.